France has a major edge over the US, UK and Russia in striking a deal for the joint development of six nuclear-powered submarines for the Indian Navy worth 96,000 crore rupees. The French firm Naval Group is the leading contender for the 6,000-ton SSN project, because France enjoys two advantages, the first is its existing strategic partnership with Mazagin Dock Limited for building six Scorpion-class submarines, and the second is that France has proved to be one of the most trusted allies of India with the fast-changing geopolitical scenario. The Navy is on the verge of getting official approval for the Project 76 from the Prime Minister's office, while the Navy's Design Bureau is keen to go ahead with a derivative of the pump jet propulsion system that was developed for the French Navy's Barracuda-class nuclear attack submarines. We had recently reported that Russia's Shukhoi Design Bureau has started work on a single-engine stealth fighter jet that will feature thrust vectoring nozzle with super maneuverability, which is being developed mainly for exports, and had also been offered to India in December 2020. In a recent photo of the Deputy Prime Minister of Russia, a model of an unknown fighter jet is seen at the edge of the image. The nose of the aircraft resembles the Su-57 but it had a single air intake in the underbelly, that points towards a single-engine fighter, and this design is typically used for American single-engine fighter jets. At a time when Russia is pushing the sale of at least 500 T-14 armor to tanks to India, the NATO countries are working to reveal a new tank by 2025, that will counter Russia's next-generation T-14 armor. France and Germany are actively working on the creation of a new generation tank under its main ground combat system project, under which the French company Nexter has recently revealed the concept of the Escalon, which stands for auto-loaded and scalable outperforming gun. France has reportedly decided with 140mm gun to counter the 125mm Russian T-14, while Russia aims to equip 152mm gun on future T-14 variants. France had also tested a 140mm gun on its Leclerc battle tank, and found that the new 140mm gun was 70% more effective than the existing 120mm NATO tank guns. The testing phase of the Franco-German main ground combat system will last till 2024, followed by a systems demonstrator phase from 2024 to 2027, and the induction will start in 2028. Indian Naval Air Station INS Barge has extended its runway by 900 feet in the last few months, which has increased its total length to 4,300 feet as the Naval Air Station is expected to host the Navy's P-8I long-range anti-submarine aircraft. The Mauritian government has also confirmed in a press release on 18 May, that India is fully financing a new 3-kilometer long runway on its Agiliga Island, on which the experts have said that this facility will provide an important staging point for India's new P-8I fleet, and will facilitate intelligence collection activities across East Africa, and keep tabs on increasing Chinese footprint in the region. Top experts have said that the recent Chinese warning to Bangladesh to not join any initiative by the Quad Group reveals growing Chinese insecurity with the Quad Alliance. They also said that about 86% defense platforms of the Bangladesh Armed Forces is of Chinese origin, and China is now planning to develop a new state-of-the-art submarine base in Bangladesh through soft loans, which is not for the two Bangladesh Navy submarines, but it will cater for berthing and logistics support to Chinese Navy's nuclear-powered submarines to enhance operations in the Indian Ocean region. Experts have said that Bangladesh joining the Quad Group will change the regional dynamics to India's advantage, and India needs to assure its neighbor that it will support and fulfill its defense requirements, that can begin with maintenance and services support for their Russian inventory, followed with indigenous artillery gun and joint ventures in shipbuilding radar systems and missiles.